friends. See you again at the opportunity today. Hopefully, friends, stay happy today and forever. Let's talk about other world-famous scientists. Enjoy watching. The story of Niels Bohr, whose full name is Niels Hendrik David Bohr. Bohr was born in Copenhagen, Denmark, October 7, 1885, died in Copenhagen, Denmark, November 18, 1962. The Birth of Niels Bohr Niels Bohr was a physicist who was born on October 7, 1885, in Copenhagen, Denmark. His full name is Niels Henrik David Bohr. Bohr is the second of three children. He was born to husband and wife, Christian Bohr and Ellen Adler. He was born into a well-known and educated family. His father was a professor of physiology at the University of Copenhagen. While his mother was a child of a leading bank at that time. Therefore, he can get access to be able to attend a leading school, Niels Bohr Education. Born into an educated family, Niels Bohr was excited to continue his education. In 1903, Niels Bohr continued his undergraduate education at the University of Copenhagen where his father worked. He also continued his doctoral education there in 1911 and won a doctorate in physics. Not only that, he continued his education to Cambridge, England. He wanted to study at the Cavendish Laboratory. He had a desire to study under the tutelage of a famous scientist, J. J. Thomson. Together with Thomson, Bohr wanted to study the atom. Unfortunately, Bohr's wishes and intentions were not welcomed by J. J. Thomson. J. J. Thomson was not interested in Bohr. In fact, Bohr wanted to translate his thesis on the study of electrons into English. After getting rejected, he did not give up. He chose to turn his goal to the University of Manchester. While at the University of Manchester, Niels Bohr met a British physicist and chemist named Ernest Rutherfurs. Apparently, Ernest had worked as Thomson's assistant. Finally, it was from Ernest Rutherford that he learned a lot about radioactivity and atoms. Niels Bohr's Inventions and Thoughts Atomic Structure In 1912, Niels Bohr came up with the idea of quantum physics. This idea is the development of research conducted by Rutherford on atoms. According to Bohr, Rutherford's atomic model is considered imperfect. It is conceptually correct but it is not possible if it is related to the laws of classical physics. Bohr was of the view that atomic dynamics did not obey the laws of classical physics. Therefore, he felt he had to perfect the research. Bohr's model of the atom showed that the atom consists of several shells and these shells are where electrons move. To obtain the atomic model, Bohr applied Max Planck's quantum theory to the atomic model developed by Rutherford. Atoms consist of a positively charged nucleus and negatively charged electrons in orbit. These electrons can move from one path to another. If the electron moves to a higher orbit, it will absorb energy. Meanwhile, if it moves to a lower trajectory, it will emit light. So the energy of the electrons will not decrease. However, the atomic model created by Bohr still has shortcomings. Among them is that the Bohr atom does not conform to the principle of uncertainty because it has a radius and an orbit. Meanwhile, according to Heisenberg the radius cannot coincide with the orbit. Thus, 
The atomic model continues to experience refinement until we know today what is called the modern atomic model. The atomic model was developed in 1926 by Erwin Schrödinger. Nevertheless, at least Bohr's atomic model has shed light on spectral lines and the hydrogen atom that was previously difficult to solve by other scientists. Theorem This theorem is the result of a combination of two scientists namely Bohr and Van Leeuwen in 1911. This theorem can be applied to the field of mechanics. Through the application of this theorem, we succeeded in distinguishing the scope of classical physics from quantum physics. Complementary Principle the principle of complementarity is found in quantum mechanics. This principle was formulated by Bohr. He argued that objects undergoing quantum processing have complementary attributions that cannot be observed simultaneously. Copenhagen Interpretation Niels Bohr was able to develop this interpretation thanks to the help of scientists Werner Heisenberg and Max Born. This interpretation was formulated in 1927 and is considered a traditional interpretation. By Niels Bohr Besides being famous for the atomic model and his thoughts, Bohr also made many other contributions to the world. Are as follows. Bohr's paper entitled On the Constitution of Atoms Molecules was published in the Philosophical Magazine in 1933. There, Bohr explained his theory of atoms. He called the atom a miniature planet around the sun with electrons revolving around it. In his paper, Bohr proved that the electrons in an atom will only rotate in their orbits of a certain size. His worksheets received praise from several other scientists such as Einstein. They call Niels Bohr's paper a masterpiece. However, many also doubted the truth of the theory written in the working paper. Periodic Table Structure Bohr compiled the atomic model in a periodic table of elements. The works contained in the table provided opportunities for the development of the field of quantum chemistry. He asserted that the chemical properties and bonding capacity of an element are closely related to its valence load. Nuclear Reaction From his proposed atomic model, Bohr was able to propose and establish the mechanism of nuclear reactions in a two-stage process. This discovery is considered important in the scientific field. This discovery was then successfully improved after a few years later by Aga Bohr who was one of his children. Prize. In 1992 Bohr received a Nobel Prize for his discovery of the atom. Bohr's atomic model was developed from Rutherford's atomic model. According to Bohr, the atom is composed of a nucleus surrounded by electron orbits. Good at playing ball. Niels Bohr is not only good at intellectuals. Little Bohr has an interest in one of the sports, namely football. He and his brother, Harold often spend time playing football. However, as he grew up and entered university, that interest began to wane. He prefers to study mathematics and philosophy. Escape from the Nazis As we know, when Germany was led by Adolf Hitler, many scientists fled. This is because of Hitler's cruelty to the Jews. Therefore, to escape Hitler's atrocities, Bohr fled to Sweden. After that he continued his journey to the United States and England. There he spent two years working on the Atomic Energy Project. Niels Bohr's Death Niels Bohr breathed his last due to a heart attack. He died in 1962.
For the rest of his life, he devoted himself to solving problems concerning the application of atoms to issues of politics and world peace. Bohr became a famous scientist in the 20th century whose name was always mentioned by people in the world, and until now always remembers him. Once of his biography, hopefully it will add insight, motivation, and knowledge. Thank you for watching, and wait for the story of the next scientist's story. Bye. Bye.